Welcome back guys, and we're back in with another tutorial, and this time we're going to be going through how to start a Discord to grow your Minecraft community. So just to explain what a Discord is, it's basically like a forum that you can start yourself and you can add different channels and pages for people to uh, to advertise to join on to your forum. Um, and you can grow it like that, a lot of Minecraft players do use it because it's an easier way to actually talk to fellow players and organise things. As you can see here, you can have anything from how many members you have on, um, to neat welcome messages with little images. It's also very handy for advertising because you have many other channels or Discord servers that you can advertise on. Um, in particular the Minecraft one itself which holds thousands of people and you can obviously advertise your Discord, getting people to join your group. You can even add stuff like little mini-games to actually play on the actual Discord server itself. Lots of stuff like rules and applying can all be done here. So let's say you've now created yourself a Discord account and you're uh, brought to the home page over here. What you're going to have to do is just come down to the bottom left and just click add server. Now here you get a choice of either creating your own, you've got gaming, friends, study group, artist creators, uh, clubs, community. So there's lots of different things to choose about but we're going to go for gaming. It's going to give you the choice whether you want to do it for a club or community or for me and my friends. You don't actually have to pick this question, you can just skip the question, I'm going to do it for a club or community. I ask you to upload a picture, so I've just put a little picture of myself, and then name the server. We're just going to write seek a host test there, and then create. And as you can see, we now have our brand new Discord server, fully equipped with the general channel, clips and highlights, lobby, and gaming chat. The gaming chats are areas where you can click and join on to, uh, so now I'm in the chat, anybody else that joins on can be added and you can chat to each other. So now to actually adding channels or categories, if you want to add a category onto this list, by category I mean like the voice channels and then the channels actually come under it. Uh, same here, you get the text channels category and then these are the channels that come under it. You're just going to click on the little top right corner of here and you're going to scroll down to create category. Now maybe you want to make this an applications category. So we're going to type applications there and create category. And as you can see, it's just opened up just here. If you want to move it, just hold it and then you can move it up and down on the list. For the moment, we're just going to leave it here. Now if you want to apply a channel to it, just click here to create a channel and it's going to ask you for a channel name. I'm just going to write apply for server and we're going to hit create. So we've now created our channel and to write in your channel, it's right here on the chat bar. So you can either write down your application process, you can leave a link to a form, um, or you can add an image or anything like that. So we've got our extremely simple application process here, which is just going to ask us to add a reaction and to apply. To open up a voice channel like this, all you've got to do is just open up another category, unless you want to just add it onto the existing voice channels, and then plus, press on the plus here. And this is going to bring you over to a text channel or voice channel, and you're going to just click voice channel instead of the text and you can just name it and we'll just put other gaming and create there we go we've now got three channels that people can actually go on to and I've just joined if I click onto there you can see that I'm in the channel and the more people that will add the more people's screens will come up here so we now know how to create a general channel or a text channel shall I say and then a voice channel However, what if you want to make a channel that only some people have privileges for? So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to make a role and we're going to make a channel that only that role can see. We're going to start off with the channel, so we're going to create a new category and we're going to call it admin. So next thing to do is we're going to actually create the role for it. For that, we come down to server settings and we can come over to roles just over here. And the little plus sign on top of everyone. We're going to name this to admin. Change it to a colour if you so wish, I'm just going to change this to yellow. And then you've got the options of what they can do. So if you want to display role members separately from online members, if you tick that, they'll pop up on the little box on the right just saying admin rather than just any uh, general member. You can allow them to put uh, at A, so mention everybody on your Discord with this. Then you've got stuff like, you know, actually view the channel itself. So if you untick that, they won't be able to see a certain channel. Um, manage channels, manage roles, etc. So as he's an admin, you might want him to manage the roles. Potentially not the channels, depending. You can manage emojis, view audit, edit, uh, manage web hooks and stuff like that. I wouldn't put allow manage server to people unless you really trust them. You now you can do like kick members and manage uh, nicknames and stuff like that. Just anything that you can trust them with. Obviously you can just switch that on. However, people won't be automatically put into this. They'll have to be given this role. So we've now got our admin role there because we've saved it. And we can see it on the top. And it also works that whoever's on top um, is higher than obviously the bottom. I know it sounds silly to say, but at everybody can't override at admin. Admin can override at everybody. 
So we've now created the role and we created the category. So we actually want to make a channel that we can read. And by that, we're just going to head over to here and we're going to put private chat. And we're going to click create channel. So if we want every channel in this category, I'm going to do the permissions for it on this category here. If I want it just to be on this channel, I'm going to do it just on this channel. So for this instance, as this is all admin, I'm going to do it, the permissions through the admin. So I've right clicked on there and I'm going to go to edit category. Now on the top left, you're going to see permissions over here. And this is the permissions that everybody's going to have if they're at everybody at the moment. They don't, um, well, they just have the general permissions because it's on the middle. So the general permissions that you've given them for the server or they're given, uh, that's what they're going to have. So first of all is view channel. Now, if we want them to not view this channel at all, all we got to do is just press that, hit save, and now we can't, they won't be able to see this channel at all. It won't even appear on the Discord for them. What I usually do as well, just to make extra safe, I usually just tick all the, these no, but you really don't need to once they can't view a channel because they won't be able to access it anyway. But anyway, once you're done, you just hit save and it'll take you to here, exit out. And this is now every channel that you make under this category has got the permissions that at everybody can't see it. They won't be able to view this channel. If we go back onto there and we go to edit and permissions again, we can now add the role of admin. So we do the little plus up there and we can see on top there's admin and it's yellow. So we're going to click on that. Now we want the admins to be able to see the channel, so we're going to click that and they're going to be able to view the channels. Now you can do this all individually, however where I've done this on the actual category, um, I'm, going to change, I'm going to change all the settings on here um, to match up with what I want the admin to be able to do. So I don't want him to manage channel, not permissions, to manage webhooks, um, not create an invite, send messages and stuff like that. So you can click all of that stuff and read message history, that's another important one, so if you haven't got that they won't be able to see anything but the message that they've just sent. So we've given them the permissions on here and we've hit save and we'll just back out. So for this channel in particular the role of admin will, um, will only be able to access this channel whereas at everybody will only be able to see the other channels up here. So just to be clear with that, if you go up into your server settings and go to roles that will change uh, the permissions for all of the server However, if you do it just individually, that will change individually. So let's say um, I've put everybody has been able to write on everything, on every channel. Um, so by that, I've come over to server settings. I go to roles and I go to add everybody. So if we go down to send messages and that's ticked, that means they can send messages to every channel. However, because they haven't got access to this, it won't show up to them. Now, if we wanted them to write on every channel, but particularly, um, let's say, not on the clips and highlights, we don't want them to uh, be able to write on that, we go to edit, we'll go to permissions, and then at everybody on here. At the moment, it's just using the generic sort of code or permission that they have for the whole server. However, we don't actually want them to write on here, so we don't want them to write on it, but we still want them to view the channel. And then we're going to do that, and we're going to hit save and we're going to back out. So now that particular category out everybody is only going to be able to view this channel but they won't actually be able to write. Uh, right here it will say you don't have the permission to uh, write on this channel. So we've gone over the permissions, how to make channels, how to make voice channels and now we want to get on to how to make welcome messages um, where you can do stuff like auto responders or timers which make messages pop up every 24 hours maybe to remind people and for that you just got to come over to the discord site over here or the top.dg obviously I'll leave that link in the description and you can filter through lots and lots of different discord bots. Anything like the old famous game Aki, um, to Pokemon, to Moderation, um, it's all on here. However, I'm just going to be going through some of the ones that you might want to use just initially um, for stuff like Moderation, Welcome Messages and stuff like that. And Me6 always seems to be a very popular one and I use it myself. So now to actually add this to the server, you're going to go on to here, you're going to hit View. And it's going to prompt you to see features or add to Discord. So we're going to add to Discord. It's going to bring you to a page here. And I've already got mine invited to my other servers. But my brand new server here I haven't. So we're going to do a set up me 6. It's going to come up with a little screen here. Just to double check that you're allowing it and you're not a robot. So we're going to choose what server we want to do. And we want to do the seeker host test. And we're going to do continue. These are the privileges that it's going to give to the bot. Um, I've not had any problems. I mean, you can see how many people have downloaded it. So, you know, if you really don't want to do it, that's completely up to you. But, you know, I, I've always found it fairly safe on here, given it all these uh, permissions. And we're going to hit authorize. I'm going to tap that. 
obviously I'm a human, and it's going to take us through to this little neat control panel. Also, if you come back onto your Discord site, you're going to check on General, you're going to see that Me6 has just come, um, as he's just been welcomed by the system. So back to the control panel, it gives you lots of different things that you can do on here with a welcome message. If we click on that, start with that first. It is enabled at the moment, but we haven't got a message. So if you want to send a message when your user joins the server, you can just tick that. You can then choose where the message actually comes up. So we just put it on general. So when people join on, a message uh, that we put on here will come up on general. And it says, hey user, uh, the reason that's like that, because that will actually use the user's name. And um, the same with the server there, it will come up with the name of the server. And that's just the first starting message. You can obviously um, improve on that or add to that. And we're just going to add a little please read the rules message. So we come down here and here you can choose whether you use a little um, card like this when the user joins. Click that to enable it. And uh, yeah, you're going to get a cool little card. Obviously, if you do pay for premium, you do get a few more choices that you can put on there. At the end, it gives you the choice whether you want to send a private message to the users. So as they log on, you can send a private message just saying welcome to my server. Um, you can also give a role to a new user, so when they come onto your server, it can give them an immediate role. So if we tick that, then you're going to be given the choice of what role that you want to give them. Obviously, I won't give them admin, but you might have a different role, just like a server member uh, role, sorry. And then you can just add that, and then they'll be given that role. So once we have got that set up, and you can tick, the, tick this button on, um, they won't be given that role until they've actually accepted the rules. Um, so if I tick that, it'll just tell me that I haven't actually got it on on the settings. Um, but we'll just go through that in a second. So we're just going to hit save there because we've got our little welcome and message ready and we're just going to click plug plugins to come back to this here. Again, this isn't going to be a comprehensive um, video about Me6. It's more about Discord, but I'll just quickly go through everything that you can do. You can obviously make custom commands if you do understand it. You've got a little level system here, which as people chat, it'll add their levels and tell you, you know, what level you are and that you've come up at, you know, to level three or four. You can certainly do a little feature that you can search the internet on there. Um, you can record voice clips, uh, do reaction roles, which is quite neat. Um, if you click on it and you enable it, you click let, yes. Uh, basically, it adds a reaction, so have, you'll have a message saying react to this message to get the role. Um, you can then add a reaction. Let's say if we put a thumbs up, and then we can put a role on that. So if they react with that thumbs up, they'll be given admin. You've got a few choices here, whether it's default or in reverse. And then you can just hit save, and then that will pop up on your Discord. So as we see here, it's popped up on the general channel, and if I click that, that's now given me the role of admin. If I unclick it, I am now not admin. A few other neat little features on here is a YouTube. If you do YouTube yourself or Twitch, you can add an automatic link, which as soon as you post, it will then post it onto your channel. Timers is another good one because you can time messages and you can you know write a message and get it up every 24 hours, every 12 hours, whenever you want it to. And then moderator. So I'm going to enable that and then you can check uh, moderator roles. You can do auto logging, so you know stuff that's happened. You can log it on a certain channel. So for this, you might want to do it on the private chat and everything like that will be put up on the private chat. And here you have your little choice of, you know, bad words, whether that's disabled or enabled. You can delete, warn, or delete and warn the member. Of course, this is not the only bot that will do a good moderation. We have got a few more that will do a really good moderation as well, but this is just a simple one to get started. Obviously, you can change all of this, anything from excessive mentions, too many at A's, too many emojis. Uh, change all of that. You can add what uh, commands that you can do. So you can do little commands on your server, like banning or, you know, clear somebody of whatever levels, stuff like that, you can put it onto slow mode and then anyway, once you're all done, you just hit save and you go back to plugins and now you've got yourself some sort of moderation so people aren't actually you know, using bad language or anything like that on your server. So as I was saying before, the rules, um, you can actually enable community on here. Um, so all you've got to do is just get started and then you've got to do a few things like verify your email um, and just check box that you can scan through the media content for more members. It then is going to request for a guideline channel. They will create one for you if you need one and then an updates channel. So we'll do that. Both of them create one for me. You can then choose whether you want default notifications to mentions only or remove moderation permission from at everybody. So I'm just going to click that. I'm going to click agree and understand. And I'm going to start. So we've now started a community. You can set up a community screen here. And this is what they're first going to see when you advertise your server. So you can do, you know, like rules, uh, chat, uh, build picks and stuff like that. You can also change your moderation of who you let in. So you can change it from low, which must just have a verified email on the Discord. You can then do it for people that have been longer for five minutes, ten minutes, um, or must have a verified phone on their Discord. So for the new feature, which they've added, where they've got to accept the rules before actually coming onto your server, you just got to head up here and go to server settings. You're then going to come down to membership screening and then start up a membership screen. 
Here you can put a brief explanation of what your server is about and then we can come down here to server rules and then we can just come down here to server rules and get started. So we've written out our first rule and we're going to do add rule and we can do a second one and now we've just written our two server rules and we're going to hit save. So now when people come to join our server they're going to be asked them two rules and if they agree then they're going to be let through. If they don't um, they won't. So now enough about actually building up the channel, I think we've gone through most of the uh, general stuff that you're going to need. Now to actually advertising it to grow your audience of Minecraft people. Well, one of the main ones that I'll always use is the actual Minecraft forum one here and the Play With Me channel on the bottom because um, you, you get a six hour slot but you can post it every six hours and you can just post your servers and stuff like that and many many people do um, all sorts of versions and all through the day. You've then got your other advertisement servers um, from you know Steam Productions, Advertise Your Server, Unlimited Promotion, stuff like that. If you just type in Advertising Discord Servers into Google, you're very likely to find it. And once you're on one of these and you scroll down, you're going to find that you can actually advertise anything from your YouTube to your new servers and you, know, you can come over to gaming servers and just advertise them there. And there are hundreds of these communities as well, all with the same similar advertising thing where you can find their gaming server channels. And as you can see there, 50 plus since I was last on myself, it gets fairly well used and you can advertise your Discord on there. So I hope that's helped guys and you can all start getting your communities uh, growing, getting your servers nice and populated. And if you want any more tutorials like this, just visit the Seeker Host website and their knowledge base and of course my channel. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.